Yep. Hey. Oh dear, squish. Walk away and she'll feel left out. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Shadow. This garden seems to be broken up into two parts. Sort of like a main garden garden that you'd see anywhere. Nice little bit of lawn. And then out the back, this more sort of ruggedy woodlandy kind of thing going on with a sauna actually, which is very pleasant. We'll get to that in a bit. And beehives. Because who wouldn't want free honey? The uh, heating system here is run solely on the wood burner. So in order to get heating, you also need to have the wood burner going. So as you can imagine, it uses quite a lot of wood, especially in the winter time. We've had it going every night this week just to keep the place nice and toasty. And to be fair, it has been glorious. There's the beehives. The active beehives. Um, but you don't feel like you get an abundance of bees in and around the place. When it was warm the other day, it was... We had a few bees in and around the house, but I think they were just looking for some water. Great thing about this whole area, so many paths to walk around, so well marked. You could just wander for hours and hours and hours and days probably. It's been great. What do you think, Wu? Do you know? What do you think? Who's a good girl? We've just parked up on the road and we're heading along to Wint Winter's Leap, Winter's Leap. Winter's Leap. Yeah. Well, there's a photo of it um, on the wall in the place we're staying. Yes. And it looks pretty epic. So mm. we're going to go and see if we can find it. I don't think there'll be as much snow as there was in the photo. No, that would be strange. <laughs> so, but as ever, starting down the hill, which means we're going to have to walk all the way back up it to go back to the car. Yeah. It's becoming a bit of a theme, my mm -hmm. dear. Hey, you said there was too much uphill to start with last time. If you follow the lead around as well, <laughs> it's going round the tree. And now, <laughs> ah, we just cruise up here, a smidge. There's the other one. That I would suggest is the view. Holy shit. Right, let's go back and find Victoria. Whoop. There we go. Wind tours leap. Ha ha. Peregrine Falcons, maybe. Day 28 and still no falcon. Mm. We have run out of provisions. <laughs> I do not think it's long before we succumb. <laughs> Would you like to tell the ladies and gentlemen what you just said to me? 
um, I gave an accurate uh, target indication of where a bird might be on the bank opposite. And what did you say? I said, by the green trees. <laughs> Which clearly are those ones there. <laughs> Any idiot would know that. Good morning. Guess what? Thomas is taking us on an incline. Yeah. Yeah. Um, picking up some litter. When are people going to learn? So where are we today, my dear? Uh, Simmons Yacht. <laughs> we were just up at the viewpoint. We didn't see any peregrines. No. Um, but there were lots of people around and um, also I didn't have their permission to capture them in camera, so we didn't film. Um, beautiful views, but no raptors. no raptors. Never mind, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get lucky later today. Getting back up there is going to be interesting. I think that's what we should rename the channel, my dear. <laughs> Thomas and his hills. With um, a spin-off series called Juno and Lead Physics. Made it to the water. It's really quite peaceful down here. Thomas is trying desperately to find a way to get down, but all the gates around here have been um, screwed shut, so they're just Fences made out of gate. I have no idea why. Too many idiots falling in. I suppose this is owned by someone, so if some randomer falls in and hurts themselves, the business that owns the um, pier is liable. Who knows? Nonsense, that's what it is. I, I know. would go and sit my legs over the edge. I know, my dear. But as with pretty much everything, it only takes one moron to ruin it for everybody. Yeah, pretty much. At least we can still enjoy the view. We've got to get back up there. <laughs> we do as well. And there's no hiding the fact that it is up there. Yeah. Big news! Victoria saw the falcon. I'm sorry, my dear. I didn't hand over the binoculars quickly enough. And I had terrible aim when I had them on my face, so... But Victoria oh, saw it. Oh, it's back! That's why all the other birds around here are losing their minds. Yeah. But there is a falcon swooping around up there. 4K zoom. Latest news, we've got a bit of a dogfight on our hands. Mm -hmm. The falcon has gone to annoy a buzzard that's cruising around looking for lunch. Don't think the falcon was too impressed. The buzzard is rising a thermal straight up there. All the breaking news coming to you from the Y Valley. Final call as it stands. A, I'm pretty sure it's about to start raining, so we need to get back into the woods. Three buzzards, I'm 90% sure. Definitely one peregrine that was giving one of the buzzards a uh, serious mobbing. It's not a bad... Not a bad last viewing and for our last day. And a goldfinch, yes. All in all, I'm pretty chuffed. Thomas has seen the Barclay Marathon film and thought, that's what I need in my life. All right, nearly there, my sweet. Come here. <sighs> Yeah. No problem. What are you talking about? Yeah. 
you try and feed a wild boar, you deserve everything you get. Are you done? <laughs> There's definitely a drinking game opportunity with yeah. this vlog. How many times did Juno walk around something? Yeah. And then what was the agreement? I'll do a shot and you'll do five burpees. Uh, no, a burpee.